So um, today we are going to present a case that is a patient with diabetes and we can see that after we check um, the ankle here we find that at the heel region there's a wound over here um, so you can see that the wound size is around 4 cm square you can see some spot I just put it there just to indicate that where we should uh, put the laser probe for the peripheral size so that to facilitate the healing of the wound so that it can heal up faster and this is the wound bed so suppose we position the patient and the patient has put on a goggle even though um, he's unlikely to be able to see the laser beam but well, of course we have to check all the contraindication precautions and also to remind the patients about the safety of laser at the same time we have to again have to put the warning signs outside the treatment area to make sure that um, no one will enter the room during the treatment so after that, we also have to um, uh, make sure that the patient is uh, feeling comfortable during this treatment. So after we consider all those factors, we have to look at the machines. So for the machines, again, we have to use the key to turn on. So this one is another machine, it's 4LX2. So for this machine, after you turn it on, you can hear some sounds and before you can start operating the machines. So here we have several different panels. So one is talking about the treatment time. The problem with these machines is that you can see that they only have discrete uh, time slots, so you cannot do any continuous one. So it's like four, five seconds, 10 seconds, 15, 20, and so on. So in case of some intermediate, you have to e either use a timer or for a short period of time, you have to count it. And also we can see another panel here. Um, it's about um, the treatment frequency. So depends once again for acute cases we use low frequency, more chronic cases we go for the higher frequency. So here's the stop button so we can stop at any time in case of emergency. Also there is another panel that show you um, the digital display is to show you about um, the testing uh, region. This one is to test the probe. So whenever we turn on the machines after we position the patients we make sure that before the treatment we have to test the machine so this is the probe so testing the probe so this one when we look at the probe it say that it has around 0.2 watt or 200 milliwatt so we have to check the, to make sure that this probe really operating well so we press the button press it and you see that it's around 200 so that means it's working so press it again to stop it so then now we can move on to to look at uh, to facilitate the healing we have to look at three different sports suppose each sport is around one centimeter away from the wound edge and also they should be around two centimeters apart so for setting um, for each sport if you remember for each sport we need point um, around 0.5 joule and because we have per sport and we have 0.2 watt so that means we need on average 2.5 seconds to finish each sport. So in this case, we have to, um, because we only have five second choice, we have to split it into half in, or, uh, in order to finish two sports. So we have to count it by yourself. And for the frequency we can um, use, um, just for facilitating the wound healing, we can, um, both for the wound and also for this uh, surrounding area, we can set it to around 1.25 kilohertz. And so then we have to have a patient. So now I'm going to have a probe that will be uh, going to touch your skin. And do you think okay? Is it okay? Yes. So now you can, once you start the button, it will start to counting. So make sure double check is five seconds. Okay, so now I start. One, two, and then move on to the next one. One, two, and then it will stop automatically. So the last one, we will count it again. Okay, one, two, stop. And then so it's done. So we have um, prepared the surrounding area. Now we have to do the uh, long contact method because it's the wound. So we have to make sure that we have around one centimeter above the wound, uh, the wound bed regions. But before that, we have to set up the time again. So because the wound area is four centimeters square, and given that we need 1.5 joule per cm square, we need in total 6 joule for this treatment area. And because we have 0.2 watt, so that's why we need 30 seconds. 
to complete the entire task. So then we have to starting once we press the button, we will start counting. So we have to move it along this side or this side. Different direction is up to you. So we will start doing this now. But do it more gently, evenly, so that we cover the entire region. Try to make sure that it's perpendicular at all time. So Mr. Lam, are you feeling okay? You are not supposed to feel anything. Do you feel anything? No. No. Good. It's almost done. Okay, now it's 30 seconds. So it's finished. So make sure that you turn off the machines. And at the same time, remember to clean this particular probe because it may um, be contaminated. Okay, after this, we put it down. And then you have to do the rest of those wound dressing and so on. You have to examine the wound and see that there is nothing, no, not supposed to see any changes in this short period of time. But we can take a picture and we assess it again um, next time. Uh, okay, so that will be how you operate these machines.